received this fairly large package uh, by courier today. I'm really not sure who it's from or what it is. Uh, I wasn't expecting any large packages. I have a few smaller items on order. So I figured uh, uh, let's open it on camera and uh, see what it is. So here we go. So one of the kids in the house signed for it today. And I got a call at work to let me know that I received this fairly large package. I took out the packing slip. It's from the Hong Kong. Um, it doesn't really tell me who exactly it's from. There's a name on there, but there's no company or anything. So, another box inside. I was not expecting this at all. I already own a CR10. My contact at Gearbest mentioned that they were going to send me one of their newer, more popular printers, but uh, they didn't specify what when I asked. This could be from Gearbest. Uh, I don't know why they would send me a CR10. I've already done. Uh, many videos on the printer and its capabilities. I'm pretty sure my contact at Gearbest knows I have a CR10 already. I'm not sure why, if it in fact is Gearbest, why they send me another one. I hear, I have uh, read online that there have been some updates to the printer, some slight revision changes to certain parts of the printer. Maybe this is a slightly updated model of the printer. And it is the newer version of the CR10. So, let's come in here for a closer look. Uh, it is the newer version, indeed. Okay, right off the bat, we can tell that it's the newer version, uh, thanks to the metal plate here attaching uh, to this pulley for our Y belt instead of a 3D printed part. Uh, the original CR10, this is a 3D printed uh, ABS part. So obviously, this is the upgraded version. It's got blue trim this time instead of the orange that the original CR10 had. Um, let's bring this in. We'll pull everything out of the box. This is unexpected, as I said. I wasn't expecting this printer at all. <coughs> <Yeah. clears throat> as I mentioned, this is very unexpected. I wasn't expecting anything at all at the moment. Uh, they didn't get back to me on what they were going to send me when I requested that information. Uh, I wasn't expecting another one of these. Uh, I don't know what to make of it or what to do with it. I, it's not as if I can re-review this printer again. It's a good printer. Um, I I really uh, enjoy the one I have already, and it gives me nothing but good prints time and time again, especially with a sheet of PEI on it. And on the original CR10 that I have, I don't have this reinforcement here. Let's flip this over for a second. And we'll take a look at the back here. And you can see we've got this reinforcing bracket here now. Right here on the updated version of the CR10 that I don't have on the original. So that's a nice added feature as well. Let's set this aside out of the way. 
like the original it has the quick connect uh, wiring setup which is really convenient so what do we have here we have a box of parts uh, we'll open that up So we have a another thumb drive with a micro SD card. Okay, the original. We have all the hardware. Uh, what is this? We have all the hardware for mounting the tower assembly to the base. Right there. Um, tools. Lots of tools. Um, this little, uh, these wire snips will come in handy. I ruined my last pair during my build of the uh, Tron XYX3S thanks to the uh, steel reinforced cables. So some tools. Power plug. A nice full color build manual and a parts list and uh, after sale service card. Wow. We got our mounting bracket for our spool that goes on top of the uh, control box. <clears throat> so this is a new feature to the CR10. It's uh, for your filament and uh, it basically it's a filament runout sensor. So when the printer runs out of filament It'll stop printing. So that's a nice new feature that wasn't on the original CR10. So that's another addition. Oh, USB cable. A little guarantee card for whatever it's worth. Roll of filament, PLA. 250 grams, it looks like. Uh, putty knife. And a very Loose in the box, but uh, a nozzle clean out tool and a small empty bag. Okay, and Teflon too. We're going to put this back in there, it's easy to lose. And I believe these are, might be some spare parts. Those are spare parts. We have a spare nozzle, we have a spare. Um, uh, Compression fitting for an extruder and a, some key nuts and some screws. So, spare parts. It's always good to have spare parts. Okay, next, let's get this control box out of here. Let's see if there's been any changes to this. Looks still the same to me. It would be nice if there was quick connects for everything, but still, I wonder if they changed that noisy fan inside. I set this for uh, 110, that's my region, the box, um, the only real difference I see here from the original box, and it's very pronounced to me, is on the original box, the SD card slot is recessed inside the box. So it's easy to uh, put your SD card in improperly or get it stuck inside the box or break it. Here it's actually both items are sticking out of the box. So it should make it a little easy to put the card into the slot. Other than that, externally I see no, no real differences to this. Roll of masking tape, which I will never use. Not for printing anyway. Now let's take a look at the tower assembly here, see if there's any differences there. So the Bowden tube that I have in the box is actually a spare because there's already one attached to the printer. And I noticed right away already that the filament cooling fan is different from the original. You can, I can see that right away already. And I'll point out the differences here as soon as I'm able to get this out.
Okay, wow. Look at that. So we have a new version of the CR10 here with dual Z motors and threaded rods. Um, I don't know on the original if it was that was a problem for some people. And there's lots of... Uh, it's not restricted at the top, so you're not going to have to worry about binding in that. Um, some other printers that usually have... Uh, top bearings like the Cron XY X3S it restricts the movement at the top so it causes binding when you get the two threaded rods like that but this a lot of range of movement here at the top back and forth um, but no look at that two Z motors two threaded rods um, that's pretty nice uh, especially if uh, the printer still remains at the same price point I haven't checked on that yet but uh, uh, I'm not sure about anybody else out there that's had a problem with the on only the one thread rod and motor on the original. I have not. I've been able to print fairly large items consistently on that printer without any issues. But it's still nice to have that extra. Um, they still have the same extruder setup on the printer, which can be an issue for most of us because it's so close to that threaded rod right there. Um, this one actually looks like it's closer than the one on my original because I never had any issues with filament touching here, but this one looks like it's, I'm going to have a little bit of an issue there. But there, there are fixes for that. Now let's move on to the hot end itself because we also have a change here. And the biggest change in the hot end itself, really, well, maybe the only change is this cooling system for your filament. The original uh, CR10 had a ba your basic um, uh, 40 by 40 by 10 millimeter straight through fan. This one, however, has a blower style fan, which is more efficient for this style of compact filament cooling. And I'm looking here, and one thing I do see though is, and I know some people have said that it's much better and it cools your filament, but if you look there, I don't know if I can get this on camera very well. You can see there, it's actually blowing on the upper portion of the nozzle it's, uh, uh, of the hot end. It's not actually blowing down to where the filament is going to be laid down. It's blowing right on the upper portion towards the heat block of the nozzle. So, it's still better than the original. It looks like there will be more airflow there. But it should have been, it, that should be on an angle. That, something like that should be on an angle to blow downwards, not straight across. Not, not that I'm complaining. Uh, there's fixes for everything, including that. CR10S, CR10. Open them up. Uh, I've already been inside the CR10, but let's take a look at the CR10S, see if there's any difference on the internals to help warrant that uh, large price difference. So here we have the internals of uh, the CR10S and the CR10. Uh, right off the bat you can see we have an upgraded main board in the CR10S and one of the biggest noticeable differences is if you take a look at the original CR10 here uh, you will see that we have an X, Y, and Z uh, stepper driver and one extruder driver. If we take a look over here, however, at the CR10S, and I pull these cables aside, you'll see we have you'll see we have an X and Y stepper driver, a Z stepper driver with uh, two connections, and we have two extruder connectors here so I'm assuming we have two I'm under the assumption for the moment that we have two uh, extruder drivers on the board so here's our extruder and here is a secondary uh, extruder connector so that'll be interesting to see and also we have uh, many more connection options over here as compared to the original uh, CR10 where we have our three end stops and our two uh, thermistor uh, sensor connections. 
Well, here we have a whole array of connectors. We have our temperature sensors here. We have our fans, one and two there, and three. So all our fan connectors are there. And here you're gonna see, this is where, this is our, uh, for our filament runout sensor. That's where that is gonna be connected. Our LCDs are slightly different as well. Uh, we have two ribbon cables on this one. I'm not sure what the purpose of the second one is for. Uh, well, I'll see what the difference is in, this, in the screen when I turn it on, see if there's any differences at all. Uh, this switch here, we're lacking that on this system. And you'll notice on both of them we have the pinouts for an S full SD card slot and that's where the uh, expansion number two comes into play. On this one it's not, it's not needed due to the fact that we have micro SD on the board. However on the CR10S you'll see expansion number two does go to the board. So I don't understand the, the purpose behind that because we don't have an SD card slot here. And I've never really, I've never, this is the first time I've ever seen expansion number three before as well. So, take a good look at that board. Compare it to the original. We'll take a good look at the uh, main board. On the original is much smaller than on the, the CR-10S. And also on the CR-10S you'll notice these your USB and your micro SD, they come right out uh, outside of the case actually. And it's nice because you don't risk getting the card to slip inside, unlike the original CR10, where they are on the inside of quite a bit here actually. You can see that gap right there. Um, other than that, everything else. Uh, is the same. We have our MOSFET on the back to power our bed and uh, the same basic setup for everything else. The CR-10S does have one extra cable coming out of the printer for your filament runout and uh, besides that the wiring should be identical. So this is the com my comparison of uh, the internals of uh, both printers, the original CR-10 and the new and improved CR-10S. And I'd be interested to see if we can actually hook a second uh, extruder up to there um, and have a dual color on the printer. I have a few motors, extra motors lying around. Maybe that's something that's worth a try. I also have a Chimera uh, hot end assembly too, so maybe I'll put that to use on this printer. That might be a good uh, match for it. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at the electronics and we compared the CR-10S to the CR-10, um, it's time to put this printer together. And then we can put, do a side-by-side -side comparison of both, take a look at all the differences that we have. I'm going to take the glass off for now, just to uh, make sure I don't break it and uh, just to reduce the weight a little bit while I attach the uh, tower assembly. Some tape. Protective film over the glass, both sides. Again, we have this new addition, uh, the bracket here that protects our wiring from our heated bed. So we're going to have to play with these uh, eccentric nuts. Hopefully, I have better luck with this one than I did with my first one.
There is a lot of uh, grease here. Quite a bit here, quite a bit in there. Just mounds of uh, white grease. And I mean, when I say mounds, I mean mounds of it. So that's a lot of grease. Okay. So we're going to take this. Hardware bag. Let's get a little bag of hardware out of here. We have a spare uh, thumb screw. Here. This here. That way. Okay. I don't know why they did this with this version of the the CR10, um, but uh, if you look here, you see my extruder motors. The connectors on the outside on the original CR10 is facing the back. Um, I prefer it to face the back. That way, it's not sticking out the side. You don't bump into it or anything like that. Okay, so that's it for basic hardware assembly. Um, we have our filament runout guide. Let's figure out how that goes on here. Maybe there's something in the manual about it. Instructions here are for the original CR10, not the CR10S. And these are the instructions that came with the printer. And they don't they don't explain the, ins, the how I install this uh, filament runout guide. And also the the bill of materials here, the bomb, is for the original CR10 as well. It doesn't have this included in it. Apparently, I think it just slide, slides in place here, and there's no real way to uh, ensure that it stays on there. Okay, well, that's that.
there's, there's nothing in the manual or anything, and um, it's not really that intuitive, as I said, because there's, um, there's just a notch here. There's no holes. So I'm assuming it just slides on that bracket like that. You just line it up as best you can with the, the through hole in the extruder. So, but the paperwork that came with the printer was for the original CR10 and not the CR10S. It doesn't have, if you see here, it only has the one extruder. Or if you, sorry, if you see here, it only has the one uh, Z axis motor and threaded rod. And it doesn't have any so, information on. I jumped ahead past uh, hooking up all the wiring. Uh, uh, there's nothing really to that. It's a five minute job. The only thing that you have to do beyond the norm is connect the wire for the uh, filament runout sensor. It's not labeled, but it's the only one that's not labeled, so it's not hard to figure out which one it is. Okay, now that I have the printer all set up, ready to go I thought I'd do a side-by-side -side of the CR10 and the CR10S and we'll take a look at the uh, subtle and not so subtle differences between the two um, first let's take a look at the obvious uh, one thing that stands out is the uh, front bracket I had no issues with the original one it's uh, working out it still works out good for me but they uh, decided to uh, upgrade that to a metal bracket. Um, I kind of actually like the look of the original better, but this will be more durable in the long run. And uh, very noticeable difference there between the two. You'll also notice here uh, 2040 here is bolted down from the top which is a very subtle difference and on the original it's bolted from underneath. Another subtle difference but to me is a, is a kind of a big one is the glass on the CR10S that I received has a much more premium feel. It has rounded corners it is smoothed out while on the original the corners are sharp and pointed and it's not smoothed out uh, like the uh, newer one. There's just something about the newer glass that feels a, like a little bit a little bit more premium to it, but in the end that won't make a difference to me because I'll probably install a sheet of PEI on there, um, and then I won't have to worry about tape or glue or hairspray or anything like that. So that's a subtle difference, uh, but still a difference nonetheless. Um, let's see here. If we take a look at our hot ends, our Filament cooling shroud is considerably different on the CR10S. Uh, it's got a blower style fan and it's much more uh, robust than the original. Uh, much more airflow allowed through there. It's still again not blowing on the filament but it's blowing on the hot upper part of the hot end of itself so it's still it could be better. While on the original it's your standard style 40 millimeter fan, but it's cut, it's got a cut out at the bottom, and it's got a little, mine has got this, the shroud you see on here is my design, it's not the original. The original is very narrow, it was only came down to about there, and uh, it was also 3D printed like the one that's on here now and not as robust as what's on the newer printer and the newer fan is a much better style fan than this one so those are two obvious changes the next uh, um, big change in the printer we'll go around back is the addition of a second threaded rod and Z motor on the original we just have the one and this upper bracket here is 3D printed and doesn't allow any 
forward or backward play. While on the new CR-10S we have two uh, Z motors and threaded rods. And our upper brackets are now injection molded. And if we can get a focus there. They, ha they don't have side to side very much but they have forward and backwards play to help prevent binding. Another change is you'll notice here we have this bracket that's attached to the bed frame itself and it'll actually protect the wiring coming from the bed. While on the original there is no such bracket you'll have to design or print your own and install it yourself. Um, yeah, So that's another major change. Um, another subtle change to the printer is on the original CR10 we have these little end caps. I've had two break off here already. I lost them. Don't know where they're at, but they are 3D printed. While on the CR10S, they are injection molded, and they have the Creality logo uh, embossed right into them, and they are injection molded. So that's a subtle change, but a change nonetheless. Um, Let's see, anything else here that I might not have noticed? I believe uh, also included with the CR-10S is your filament runout uh, guide. And this will not work on the original CR-10 due to the fact the board inside here doesn't have a connector for it. Um, so that's another big major difference. Uh, between the two that you've seen in my close-up look at the electronics inside this is the board inside the CR-10S supports uh, extra sensors as well as according to the board an extra ext extruder so that'll be interesting maybe I'll put my um, Chimera extruder on this printer and turn it into a dual extruding printer dual color a couple of things I wish they would have uh, done extra is uh, the wiring here to the uh, x-axis motor and um, extruder and x end stop switch I wish were four to six inches longer just to allow me more flexibility in where I place the electronics box pretty much right now you have to raise up the electronics box on a small platform and keep it very close to the printer and it's really aggravating if you want to move it around somewhere or if you want to put this printer in an enclosure and keep the electronics box separate. Um, you can't do that right now with the length of wiring on there. So that's it for my unboxing, build, and comparison of the CR-10S side-by-side uh, -side with the CR-10. Um, I hope it was informative and I hope you guys enjoyed the video back in the near future uh, I think my next epic print I'll do on the CR-10S I got an epic print coming up already that I did on the CR-10 uh, of, an, of a uh, raven sitting on some skulls I uh, it turned out really awesome I just had one issue with it that I corrected later on but after that I think I'll do my next epic print on the CR-10S to see how it fares out against the original uh, CR-10. Until next time, thanks for watching everyone.